Hey, how's it going? Who else has been playing Dungeonborn? I have. Let me show you my rogue progress, some set bonuses on some gear, and a nice way to make some gold potentially. Here it is. We've just hit level 20. This is what the gear's looking like. I also want to mention that there are different affixes or set bonuses, I guess you'd say, uh, that I want to showcase here. So you have Force of Trinity. So you'll see that it's 2 of 15, and this gives plus 2. So when we have 15 stacks of this Force of Trinity, after dealing 3 instances of unblockable direct damage from attacks or skills, within 3 seconds, deal 100 physical damage to nearby enemies. And then if we get 25 of these, this effect also slows nearby targets by 80%, which decays over 5 seconds. And then at 30 points, this effect also applies a 20% vulnerability debuff to nearby targets for 5 seconds. And you can see that uh, with this one here, Dragon Scale, there's uh, another couple set bonuses here at 15 points and 25 points. Damage taken is reduced by 50%. Upon being hit, this effect can trigger once every 60 seconds. The damage reduction effect will now last for 3 hits or 3 seconds before it goes on cooldown. That is insane. Uh, and for anyone wondering how to make a lot of gold in this game, uh, one of the methods you can do is get a set of Midas. The problem is I don't know how to get the set of Midas. I've just found these pieces. You might be able to craft them. I don't know. Haven't looked into it. All right, you can see here another set bonus called Midas Touch. Gain 30 coins directly to your inventory after killing a target. You need three of three. Gain 60 coins directly to your inventory on first opening of each chest. You need 9 of 9 for that one. Gain 1,800 coins directly to your inventory upon successful escape. And you need 15 of 15 for that. So if we consider the Midas Touch and how much gold we could possibly make, for every 10 enemies we kill, it's 300 coins. Like... We could potentially kill 30 mobs every game. That's easy enough. Uh, then you consider the chests that you open. I'd say you probably open at least 10 to 15 chests, right? So let's just say 10, just, just the minimum amount, just for argument's sake. That's another 600. So we're at 1,500 gold just from chests and monster kills. And then we add uh, 1,800 to the total just from the escape as well. Looking at 3,000 plus gold just from having the Midas set. That's pretty awesome. Anyway, that was a nice little update. I was happy to find out some new information about the game. Uh, I'm learning about the set items now, pretty much as you guys are now if you're watching this. And there's nine in total, so nine set bonuses you can get. Anyway, that was a nice little update. I was happy to find out about the set items. There's nine in total, so nine sets that are, are able to be acquired in the game. Just looking forward to trying them out, maybe one day. Um, hopefully they release the game with Australian servers, because they do not have them in the beta test. Um, but yeah, outside of that, enjoy your day slash night. Catch you guys later. See ya.